Hubbard Street Dance Chicago is an American success story. Out of Lou Conte's studio grew a major dance company with a repertory of leading American and international choreographers. Now, under Glenn Edgerton's leadership, Hubbard Street has set the standard for what an American repertory company can do. Hubbard Street will be dancing Twyla Tharp's Scarlatti, which is set to eight keyboard sonatas by Domenico Scarlatti. And there's some great history between Tharp and Hubbard Street. In the 90s, the Tharp Project produced seven works for the repertory. So this is sort of a homecoming between Tharp and Hubbard Street. I think of Scarlatti as quintessential Tharp. There are some great Tharpisms in Scarlatti, from the uh, very precise and um, direct movements that dissolve into very human gestures, so you see it and then it's gone. There's such a very loose attachment to shape in Tharp's work, and you see it all in Scarlatti. There's such a rambunctious sense of play in Tharp's piece, especially between the dancers and the music. And when I think about uh, the piano music, it's such a perfect mirror for Tharp because there is a, a, a lightness and a freedom. It's percussive, yet very gentle. Hubbard Street will also be performing Two Boku by Sharon Ayel, and this is the first uh, piece that Sharon Ayel has created for an American company. Like much of her work, it's very sinister and otherworldly, a little robotic and 3D. Hubbard Street will be dancing William Forsyth's quintet, and there's just a perfect match between the athletic dancers of Hubbard Street and William Forsyth's dancing outside of the lines. He, he pushes dance to these extremes to kind of amplify shape and line, and they do that so well. William Forsyth is also the Samuel H. Scripps American Dance Festival Award recipient this year.